Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I found a hole in the wall. And there's a person inside of it. Let's kind of figure out what's going on here. Oh man, can the guy get some privacy? Leave me alone. Alright. Is this a way out? Nope. I have a feeling that something bad is going to be happening in this city. And this will be our way out of it. Hey there, straight back. Welcome to today's stream. I'm in the final half hour of it, potentially, but I'm getting ready to do some plot stuff. So you're relatively on time for that. After exploring this giant city, for those who wish not to sully their hands. In other words, more magic stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and do this investment thing. Let's put down a thousand gold. Hopefully, that's not a bad idea. Buy something already, yeesh. No, I'm saving up. Not for any of your stuff, though. So it seems to me that, yeah, each district pretty much sells the same stuff. Everything in here is 100% shiny. I checked. It's kind of a little redundant having the same shops in each district. Might have been better if there were different shops in each one. Or maybe only one district has shops. My apologies, sir, but we are currently overbooked. I suggest trying the other districts. Although, with the way things are at the moment, don't be too optimistic. Nah, that's okay. I've actually already found an inn that lets me stay. Oh, hey, a pub. One of these days, I'll figure out how to smuggle this wine out of the city and into the other taverns. I'd make a killing. That bartender is a moron. Welcome, sir. Alright, what can you tell me about the city? It is simply the greatest place in the world. It's undeniable. We have the impeccable security. There are no odd smells. The people are interesting, and there are hardly any vagrants to spot. What can you tell me about the district? Aside from the splendors of Castle Unity, I am positive this is the most stupendous district in the city. I personally disagree. I like the water one. Of course, you'd have to have some decent connections to live here. Me? My mother owned this establishment. Nep nepotism is a boon and ring, as it should be. Define nepotism. I feel like I've heard the word before. Oh, here's another one of these blacksmiths. Regardlessly, I am unable to take any more requests. I am fully aware of the pixie predicament and the need for weapons these days, but I am going to have to fulfill prior contracts first. Apologi apologies for any inconveniences. Uh, that's okay. There's going to be another one that we're going to be forced to go to, I'm sure. What are you looking for? New stuff. How can I help you today? Nope. Welcome, are you looking for some armor? Not necessarily. Hmm, 
Is this something that was sold in the other areas? I'm not sure it was. None of these shops sell bow ties. I am thoroughly disappointed. Ring should just go away. Are you foreshadowing? I feel like you're foreshadowing. Hello there, how can I help you? And you're one of those shops. Looking for a weapon? Nope. Okay, there actually is some differences in these shops. Because the other shop I noticed had like a different sword with a different element. It was ice elemental. So I suppose there is a little difference between these stores. Not much though. Alright, just about done exploring this area. And we can kind of move on with the plot. You look kind of lost. Aren't you from outside the walls? Who are you? I'm Hurunda. I hate Ring. I'd rather... I'd much rather be burning down forests or drinking all the oceans. Can't do any of that in the city. Okay. Well, in that case, what's it to you? So you are? Would you like some money? I have a job for you if you're willing to help out a fellow Pleus. The Pleusian? Is that what we're called? Anyway, all I need you to do is convince my father that the outer world is not as horrible as he thinks it is. That way he'll let me leave. Sure, I'll do it. Hooray! Okay, if you can get him to get me out of here, I'll give you 2,000 gold. Okay? Okay. Doors unlocked. Well, this should be good. The Violet Crow. Hmm. Understanding the gray, the kith. Are the kiths something that we've read about? Yeah. The Varshish. Have we done this? I, th I don't think we've read this one. Yeah, let's read this. In many folklore and ancient writings, certain insects or relatives has symbolized various meanings and messages to humankind. The fly being decay and death, the caterpillar and butterfly being hope and rebirth, but most explicitly of all is the spider, symbolizing fear. Yeah, definitely that. It is then right that the gray would choose this form for its most frightening creature. Oh, I fought some of those. Of course, symbolism and metaphors are beyond the primal force of the gray god, and thus it is likely pure happenstance that the Varsish is formed the way it is. Coming in two kinds, small and large, the enlarged arachnid specializes less in the vert forest like many of its cousins in servitude, and more in the quiet slow kill. It is said that the Varsish's prey can die within minutes of being exposed to its venom if one is not fortunate enough to have a connection to the four goddesses. Perhaps then the Grey does understand a modicum of irony, at least, to slow kill over time quietly. Is this not the price for losing pay faith? Regardless of religious implications, the Varshish is still a creature to be avoided. They are found mostly within the Kithian layers of Lake Varus, although sources have indicated that before the northern event, some were seen below Snowtop. It is perhaps wisest, then, to avoid any kind of cavern unless you are fully prepared. Nah, yeah, I'm good. I read that one. I'm just gonna snoop around your house, Mr. Man, to see if I can find any information. Also steal your stuff. That might help me convince you to let your daughter go out into the world. 
Hmm? Oh my, how did you get in here? <laughs> I have a disease. <laughs> you know, I did save. I'm gonna choose this one just for funsies. That isn't good. I got it from being in this city. Oh dear. I don't know what the big deal is. I see. Hiranda is paying you to convince me to let her out of the city, isn't she? Don't deny it. You're not the first she's tried to bribe to make her case. A young man named Realer was here just the other day trying to do just that. Honestly, I have no idea where she finds these people, but you seem like a decent sort. Let me tell you a little story. Back when she was just a little girl, Hrunda and I lived in a village to the west of here. I turned to hunting after her mother passed away. Mostly birds, pheasants, the like. But there was this one animal I always saw, one I could never could get a hold of. That's redundant. A violet-colored crow. After years of trying to catch it, I formed a respect for the creature and gave up trying. A few days later, I saw Hiranda roasting the bird alive. Fire magic, with which she then attempted to burn down the entire forest. See, I brought her here because she's a danger to the natural world, not the other way around. So please, don't interfere with family business. I have my reasons for why I brought her here. Well, that took a turn I didn't expect. Please leave. She sighs. Let me guess. No go? I could say what is wrong with you. So I will. What? Oh, did he tell the story about the bird again? Jeez, so overdramatic. Look, I get bored easily, that's all. Also, that's none of your business. I'm paying you to help me get out. Anyway, plan B. I have a friend, a friend named Reeler who lives in a hole in the wall in the northwest corner of this district. He apparently has a tunnel leading out of the city. But he won't let me use it. So I need you to go there and convince him. I'll pay you double if you do. Why didn't you do this in the first place? What, leave without giving my father a chance? That's cruel. Now get going! Really not as sure if this is a good idea. This seems like a quest that could result in bad things. But hey, it's the most interesting thing we've had happened in the city so far. The uh, second most interesting, anyway. Floating island and that sort of thing. Oh man, I gotta get him to leave me alone. Are you really? Yeah, why? I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing wrong. You have an escape tunnel? What? Who told you? Wait. You're a friend of Hun Hun Hrunda's, aren't ya? That girl is crazy. I don't want her anywhere near my secret way out of the city. But, maybe there is something I can agree to. I know about her father's overprotectiveness. Maybe we can turn a profit from that. Okay, here's the deal. I let Hrunda use the tunnel, then I kidnap her. You go to her father and tell him about this, get paid for rescuing her, then we split the reward! And since I already have an escape, I can just leave Ring and live like a rich man. And so will you! What do you say? You know, I do not like where this is going. I'm gonna refuse. Tisk, Could have been rich, the both of us. 
Fine, she can use the tunnel, but I get half of what she's paying you. Well, I, I guess I can agree to that. Well, did you convince him? Yes. Hooray! Hey, meet me there and I'll repay and I'll pay you. Oh, I can't get back into the house. Darn it. Ugh. I I'm getting such bad feelings from this. I think she's waiting for you in the tunnel. Remember my cut. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh, there's a statue in here, really? It makes me wonder, was there a wa one in the water section and I just didn't see it? Whatever. Ring. In escape. Tunnel of Red District. Alright. That's locked too. Hiya! Thanks for getting me this far. Now, uh, the only problem is that I don't actually have the 4,000 I promised you. That was just to give you some incentive. But I do have the original 2,000. Here you go. Anyway, goodbye, hero. Maybe we'll see each other again. How did you get through the gate? How did you get through the gate? Ah. Uh, what is this? That spot there looks super important. So, our mutual friends made it on the outside, yeah? You know, this old money business got me thinking. I bet you I'd get scores of it when I tell her father that I killed the man responsible for letting his daughter escape the city. What do you think? You know, you're a jerk. And you're an idiot. Did I mention you're an idiot? Well, now I can't even get back in there. Well, that was certainly a thing. Don't suppose I can go ahead and tell her dad anyway. No? Something tells me we have not yet seen the last of this kid. Well, that was certainly an interesting excursion. One that leaves me mildly concerned. But regardless, an interesting one. Now let's see if we can get to the king. State your business beyond the gate. You're pretty. You're the third person today to tell me that. <laughs> State your business beyond the gate. I require sustenance. Don't eat our food. How about I'm sleepy? Me too, citizen. Me too. Uh. He sighs. Oh, that was definitely fun. Didn't get us to the king, though. And that can only mean one thing. We're actually going to have to do this whole applying the deadly metal to this sword that could easily fall into the wrong hands situation. Uh...
Well, I have a few minutes still. I can go ahead and do that. I could also choose not to do it. Maybe, possibly. Hmm. Hasn't changed much. Tidier, though. There she is, Perrin, with the blue hair. What are you? A customer? You'd better be ready to supply me with stuff. Hello again, Lilas. What? Drake? Is that you? It has been a while, hasn't? Why are you yapping? Get over to that forge and make me a dagger right now. Wait, what? What are you... You're still yapping. Go, go, go. Ow! Was it absolutely necessary for... Shh! Make the dagger. Forge is getting cold. And if it isn't anything but perfect, I'm shoving you into that pit so you can fetch all the materials you wasted. That isn't how... Go! He sighs. Now then, what can this chick do for you? Why do you do that? See which is rustier, my metal or his workmanship. <laughs> do you know, Drake? That lousy lout never told you about me? Of course I know him. I trained him. He's my student. Worst student in the world. Only student I've ever had. He looks older than you. He's old because he doesn't keep up with his training. I do 100 squats above that forge every morning. It's why I look like a brat. Why are you yelling? Maybe you're whispering. Or maybe it's because the hammer is loud. Maybe it's both. Say, I've never seen you before. That means you're new to ring. Congratulations. Why did you just hit me? It's how you greet the newcomers to ring. Ha ha ha. Or at least how it's how I greet them. I haven't seen anyone new lately. Hmm. Kind of think of it. That might be why Ring was blocked off in the first place. Well, what are you doing? You're supposed to hit me back. It's customary. Uh, okay. What was that? Did you hear that? It made a little sl sissy slap noise. That was pathetic. And yet somehow erotic. I finished. Here. Now if we could... Perfect! I'm glad. So can we do it again? I know you're being serious, but... Are you serious? I said do it again! He sighs again. Why again? Because I want another one! Uh, at this point I'm just gonna say nothing. Ha! Huh. I've silenced you! Good! No, seriously, say something. The silence is maddening. There. I'm not doing this again. We don't have time for this. No need. I was just blabbing to your friend here to keep stalling. Perfect. The commission is all done. You have me do your work for you. Yep. Commission work for one of the Uniters. Something about pixies. Needed weapons. Thanks! So now you're willing to come with us. Of course! Let's go! Lilas joined your party. Wait, what? No! Okay, so that was certainly a sequence of events. 
I'm not entirely sure what to make of the situation, but the good news is we haven't exactly tried putting together this uh, deadly blade yet. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get away with not doing that. Also, you are somebody else who is not going to equip anything. Alright, well, anyway... That was certainly an interesting sequence of events. I suppose the next thing is going to be another sequence of events. We're either going to find the king or we're going to head back up to the island. I personally vote for the island. However, that will have to be a thing that we do in the next stream. Well, um... As I suspected, we spent the entire stream at this place, but we have at least finished with the exploration. So next time, it'll be almost nothing but plot. I say almost nothing because I'm hoping to do some optional stuff if I get the chance to leave this place. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.